Frequent travelers of Reddit, what are your best tips if you need to travel light for a formal occasion followed by a short vacation? I like to pack in one color scheme, so that can all be mixed and matched. This also lets you pack only one pair of shoes, where the other pair you plan on using. For the formal wear, you'll have to suck it up a bit, but that should help with minimizing space for the vacation days after. Also, pick your travel outfit intentionally, so that it's one you can rewear on the trip or at least on the plane back home. Have fun. Can't go wrong with blue and black. One overhead suitcase, one moderately sizable backpack to go under the seat in front of you. Don't bring anything you're not certain that you're gonna use. Don't bring any maybe outfits in case you wanna wear it. Don't bring a book that you might read. If it's a maybe, it's a no. Pack more socks and underwear than shirts and pants shorts. Pants and shirts can be reworn. Underwear and socks can be too. But that's gross. So bring more. I know there's the old adage better to have it and not need it than to need it and not have it, but not when you're trying to pack light. Chances are, if you have enough money to be traveling vacationing, you have enough disposable income for you to buy anything that you forgot, or anything that you decidedly didn't bring that you ended up needing after all. I am not what anyone would consider a light packer but I pride myself on fitting obscene amounts of clothing into my suitcase when I travel. Do not roll your formal clothes. I've seen this mentioned a few times and while it works fine for things like shirts it doesn't work well for bulky and stiff items like a suit jacket. The most effective way I have found for packing formal wear is to fold the sleeves over the body and lay it as flat as possible either in the bottom of your suitcase or the top. If packed well you can easily fit a week's worth of clothing in a carry-on, including your formal wear. There's ways to fold a suit so that it doesn't wrinkle and you can fit it in your carry-on. Also it helps to roll your clothes and not fold them. Stop packing those outfits that you never wear just in case I want to look cute. You will either put them on, then immediately change into something more comfortable, or they won't even leave your suitcase. Shoes too. One comfy pair for walking, and one formal pair that is also comfortable. Same with makeup toiletries. Pack your everyday things and maybe one special occasion lipstick. You don't need that fancy palette that you never use or those three hair styling tools that take forever. One always use versatile clothing and shoes. Shoes and jackets have to be limited to one pair piece. Two always. And I repeat. Always go with wet wipes. Your suit, shoe, etc. can be stained. And if you immediately rub it with a makeup remover wipe, the missile or water ones, it'll likely go away. 3. Take a handbag that doesn't look bad with formal clothes, and a small overhead luggage. Preferably the hard plastic ones, not the fabric ones, as those maintain the structure you packed best. 4. Leave space for things you might get. Take only plain clothes. Egg one pair of jeans plus t-shirts. Always take an extra set of underwear. 5. Check what the hotel Airbnb you stay in has. If they have towels and shower gel, you only need a comb, razor, optional, toothbrush and smaller toothpaste for toiletries. This often frees up space. A pair of shoes can contain around two pair of socks and two pair of were inside. Don't fold any cloths roll it up. Takes up a lot less space. Source. I got my wife to pack all her stuff in one bag. I always do this. I thought this was a common thing but I guess not. I tend to put socks in my shoes so that the other clothes don't smell lol. For the occasion, into the baggage, one shirt, one pair of formal pants, formal shoes, a tie, then for n days of holidays, into baggage, n slash 2 t-shirts, n pairs of underpants, n pairs of socks, misc stuff, a towel, pair of shower slippers, then you wear, one pair of jeans, one pair comfy sporty shoes, t-shirt, sweater polar, coat windkercher. I always fit all of the above stuff into one backpack along with the laptop when I have to travel for work for a week or two. P.S. On the very formal occasions where you also need a jacket and or, I travel in a suit, as it's very hard to fold properly. P.P.S. Check the weather forecast for your destination, adjust accordingly. Do you round up or down your n slash 2? Wear a suit to the occasion and take vacation clothes with you. Mail your suit home after the formal occasion and then do a pound of coke. 
A pound of coke will take up too much space in the suitcase. Shoot H instead. Allow me to introduce you to Dr. Bronner's soap. It's an 18 in 1 soap for fairly cheap and can replace most toiletry items. The 3 ounces airplane rule will be more than enough for a weekend. You can wash yourself, your clothes, everything. Also, pockets. I had an international flight with strict rules for carry on for one leg of the journey so I loaded up my pockets with dang near everything, including rolling up a decently sized tote bag, and stuffing it in my pockets. Once aboard, everything went into the bag. Cheeky but no one did anything about it. Compression bags are the crap. I like to roll all my underwear and socks into tiny packages, stick them in a sliding ziplock bag, then squish the air out. It leaves a tidy little package and I know exactly what I have available, but get the roll the bag ones, not the vacuum ones. You may not have access to a hoover on the return journey, they're usually in with the hangers and laundry baskets in Walmart. 2. Make a pre-pack list. It helps you not forget things and you can work it to maximize what you really need. I refuse to check bags unless it's undeniably necessary so I get creative. I count on 2 days use per pair of sock unless you're really active. So a formal pair and then one for every 2 days after. One pair of underwear per day. Jeans can be worn several days before a wash which is good because they require a lot of room. I'm a girl so I pack a ton of dresses and some tights. Wear your heaviest shoe you want to take to the airport. Layer at the airport. Planes get cold, so you can get away with wearing a few shirts, hoodie, coat, etc for the journey. Here's my list. 3-4 plain shirts, 1 semi-formal jacket, 1 jeans and 1 slacks, 1 shorts, 3 socks, 3 underwear, 1 leather shoes and 1 jogging shoes. It will be well under 7 kilograms so you still have room for your laptop, gadgets, etc. That's more shirts than it is underwear. Needle and thread of the colors you'll be wearing visibly. Take little to no space, and no scissors needed. Just be careful when breaking the thread. A missing button or a hole sometimes make a difference. Dual use undershirts. Seek out locations and hotels with a laundry service. Go as casual as possible with your pants while focusing on more formal shirts and jackets as tops. I shipped my suit and a return label to the hotel I was booked at to my attention, and called ahead to let them know I would be arriving within a few days to pick it up if they wouldn't mind holding it. Call first. Then when I left, I left it behind the desk with them and scheduled a UPS pickup. Garment bag for your formal wear and stick it in the overhead. Fit whatever else you can in a backpack that fits under your seat. If you fly first class, they'll usually have a small cupboard where you can hang your jacket. They usually offer this to coach passengers. I've never been turned down when I've asked to hang my suit in the suit closet. The last time I needed to travel light, I was able to fit a week's worth of clothes, including ski outerwear, into a carry-on by using vacuum space bags. Not going to work for every situation and type of clothing but solved my problem beautifully. I usually will use Rent the Runway, which is just women's clothes but they have similar sites for suits and men's clothing. But you can get a whole outfit delivered to where you're staying for the formal occasion and pack for just your vacation. It's not necessarily the cheapest option, but my style for weddings has stepped up greatly and I haven't bought anything new recently. Travel in your heaviest clothes, but comfy. If you need a suit or dress make sure it's thin if you're going somewhere hot. Then pack maybe one stroke two things of swimwear and wash and reuse clothes throughout the stay. Info. Short warm climate vacation or short cold climate vacation? Outerwear is the bane of my packing experience and I hate having to pack both business cold weather clothes and play cold weather clothes. Warm climate, though. Flip flops and shorts take up little space, and shirts can be purchased anywhere. Unless you're spending more than a week without laundry, all you need is a medium sized suitcase with a coat bag. Any formal clothes should be in the coat bag to prevent folds. Also if flying, the coat bag can be stored with jackets on the plane. Just don't forget it. You really only need one suit for the entire occasion and one shirt per day. Wear the suit on the plane, keep your outer jacket in your hands, and pack your informal clothes in your bag. Pack your formal stuff in your carry-on. Last year at sister's wedding, my aunt and uncle flew in from Canada and unfortunately their luggage got lost. 
Luckily they're seasoned travelers and had their outfit and their carry on. Everything else they bought and got reimbursed for. Do not check your formal wear. Buying new vacation clothes is a minor hassle. Buying new formal wear is expensive, if you're a dude, and may be impossible, if you're a girl. Formal shoes aren't going to have much function outside of your event. You could always mail your shoes and outfit home after the event if it's not crazy expensive. See whether rent the runway is available where you're going. They'll deliver formal wear, and then you don't have to pack it. You can easily ship a set of clothes. Pack your fancy clothes, ship your casual stuff, then ship the fancy stuff home. You can ship to and from hotels easily enough. After you're done with your suit and formal shoes, you can ship them to your home to save yourself the hassle of carrying them around during your vacation. The same applies for any souvenirs. Does it cost more? Yes. Is it worth it? Very. What you wear on the plane is useful as well. Wear the suit on the plane, pants, shoes, and jacket. Bring an extra shirt and socks. Roll up some jeans, socks, underwear, t-shirts, and casual shoes for later. Wash clothes abroad. Usually can be done fairly inexpensively. Shoes take up too much space. Find a pair that can be used for multiple purposes. Packing cubes are perfect for a situation like this. Formal clothes in one, vacation clothes in another, or two, and you never have to go through the whole rigmarole of unpacking your entire suitcase on the first day because you put your formal clothes at the bottom like an idiot. Used to do a lot of leisure remote work traveling and only have two main pieces of advice. Pack light, and pack for your obligations. If you travel with a pack you're able to be more mobile and flexible in your plans. Pack for your obligation so only bring the bare necessity items for the occasion you have to go to and pick up anything else you need at your destination. You can maximize the space in your pack and pick up some decent souvenirs by purchasing your necessities at your destination. A weekender. One pair of formal wear, some underwear and socks, a towel. That's it. The whole rest can be purchased where I will stay when going for a formal occasion with some vacation days thereafter. Let's say 2-3 to three days, and I have plenty of those, this is what I am packing, the weekend of bag itself, the formal dress, for the sake of the argument let's say it's an event that doesn't need change of clothes, so one smoking it'll be, 3 pairs of socks, 3 boxer shorts, my mobile phone, a charging cable, my wallet, enough local currency, 1 towel, because sometimes I don't stay at a hotel, the end. The clothes I am wearing for the travel itself are pre-selected depending on the most likely activities I will have in mind. If, and only if, something comes up like no opportunity for dry cleaning, or my clothes get dicky or whatever might happen, I'd consider by myself something new where I am staying. That's how I survive London. For instance for up to 4 days. Music on the hard drive. In a lot of places, there is no Wi-Fi, so you could be stuck without your music, and some time you really need it. I went to a friend's wedding a few months back, followed by a road trip. I traveled in a smart shirt and chinos, with a pair of dress shoes in my bag. Otherwise I packed two t-shirts, a pair of shorts, three sets of underwear, and a lightweight travel towel. Everything fit into a 26L hiking bag which fits as cabin baggage and I even had space for a camera. Shoes eat space. Everything else is negotiable. I just got back from a black tie wedding followed by a week of work travel, so was even worse than a week of vacationing. One, two pairs of shoes, maximum. Fly in the bulky ones. Two, undershirts are your friend. You can wear your nicer shirts a few times in two weeks if you have clean undershirts. These can easily be laundered at the hotel, or in a sink even. 3. Undies and socks. Roll tight and stuffed in your shoes. Bring enough to cover one week. If you are gone longer, you need to wash them. Hotel laundry or in a sink if you have to. 4. Suit or tux and formal dress shirt. Eats much space, and you are sort of just stuck with it. 5. Get a pill organizer. Aspirin ibuprofen Tylenol in one day. Allergy meds in another day. Anti-diary in third. Antacid in fourth sleeping pills in fifth etc very compact and if you need them you will be happy six 
three shirts and three pants shorts and formal dress stuff. Each shirt needs to work with two bottoms and vice versa. One dressier set, nice dinner, one casual set, active wear, other in between. 7. Workout nut. Get some easy fold athletic shoes, no basketball shoes. 8. Buy a really good piece of carry-on luggage, you want maximum internal volume. 9. Get smart travel electronics. Get a charger for your laptop that also has a USB charge port. 10. Bring an eye sleep mask. God knows what the curtain situation will be at your hotel. 11. No souvenirs rule. Just don't. You will do wound on the return flight. 12. Always stick in an open pair of contacts somewhere, if you wear them. I have traveled to lots of places including Europe and Vegas with only a backpack. North Face Yavapay 19 inches x 13 inches x 6.5, and a purse and I wear heels. As per what others have posted, only take what you will use, no maybes. 3-4 outfits that can all be interchanged to make at least 6 outfits in total. Remember what you are wearing on travel day is also an outfit. Wear a sweater and a jacket so you don't need to pack those. I usually like to work out when I travel so my travel day shoes are my runners. They take up the most room. I actually don't fold or roll my clothes. I lay them as flat as possible, line the bottom of my pack with my shoes and the sides. Once everything else is in, with my underwear and socks off which I bring enough for 2 sets per day. Toiletries are minimal. Fit in a medium sized ziplock bag. I buy shampoo and other hair products when I get where I'm going. Also, if it's more than 3-4 days, I plan for washing my clothes so I either stay at places with the facilities or near a laundry option. Fluff and fold is great and not that expensive, even cheaper if you do it yourself. A little black dress, two pairs of shoes, one pair of jeans, yoga pants and shirts rolled up make life really easy. Travel with your coat on. Cashmere sweaters help for layers. I can fit everything in one purse or backpack, even with my laptop and DSLR. A tiny lint roller is bonus. I do have a quirk of traveling with some light sheets that also roll up super tight and a yoga towel to lay down on hotel room carpets and do yoga. This takes up the space of two shirts. I occasionally wash my shirts in the shower then dry them by rolling the shirt and the towel and hanging them to air dry. I really don't get this traveling light concept. You need a certain amount of luggage for a certain period of time away from home. 99% of the time, you won't have access to clothes washing facilities. Being somewhere away from home is pretty much identical to being at home. See how many clothes you go through in a week, and take that many clothes for a week long trip somewhere away from home. You'd need specialized clothing for your destination. Shorts for hot, jackets for cold. Be reasonable. Check the weather forecast for your destination and plan accordingly. You don't need a waterproof Pentaleya Gore-Tex Parker with fascia shield and integral earmuffs to go somewhere it will be 15C, 60F, for the next week just in case the weather turns. If the weather turns, you can always put on a second sweater under your windbreaker and buy a hat there. If they have cold weather, they have shops that sell cold weather clothing. Worst case scenario, you spend $10 for a hat. Otherwise, you risk forgetting something extremely important because you were too busy making sure you brought unnecessary crap with you. 1. Wear the suit dress formal-ish attire on the flight to wherever. Pack all the essentials, loosely, in a carry-on to leave space for the formal where you will not be wearing back. 2. Budget to check a bag. 3. Take swa. 2 checked bags is worth the extra couple bucks the ticks will cost. I fly 10-ish times a year to Florida, not weekly by any means. Whole 3 airline cc's, so never pay for checked bags. I'm not sure if this was said already and this applies to any trip. Stuff the shoes you put in your bag with socks. It saves space and it keeps the shoes form. If it works out you can rent a tux at the city you are going to. Another option is purchasing some of the items you need, then mailing the items to yourself to avoid those whack baggage fees. Schedule a free day in the middle somewhere. Pack some Tide Pods and dryer sheets in a Ziploc bag and do laundry. Boom, there is half the bag space saved in clothing. I always bring soap to wash my clothing in the sink. Saves me AO much space since I only have to bring a few t-shirts, legging etc. 
I do this all the time as I go to conferences and then often tack on a personal day or two. I tend to do a capsule wardrobe where everything in the case can be worn with anything else. Even a formal shirt can have the sleeves rolled up and be worn worn in formal pants, shorts, etc. Wear your biggest heaviest clothes, including accessories, hat, stuff gloves in your pockets, etc. Pack an outfits, roll your clothes instead of folding, use your shoes, roll socks undies inside of them. If you're a woman go for dresses jumpsuits or anything that's one piece because it's an entire outfit. <laughs> on the plane, I sometimes wear an outfit I was planning on getting rid of anyway. Maybe the cuffs of the pants are worn or maybe there's a stain or something on the shirt. I don't want to look homeless. But no one is going to notice those little things on a flight. At my hotel I just toss them. Including sometimes my less than desirable old underwear as well. Since I will be wearing something else on the way back. I now have room in my luggage for anything I may have bought on my trip. If you are new to the channel. You can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then. Check another video. Bye for now.